so tonight we're going to be making spaghetti carbonara and I have all the ingredients out just went to the store um, so a little bit about each one this is called um, guanciale I don't think I'm pronouncing that right um, and it's a um, Italian cured meat it's pork like pork cheek more specifically um, and it's kind of similar to pancetta but it is a little more salty and um, so a cured meat means that they salt it for three weeks so that it loses moisture and this means that it can be you can eat it raw or cooked um, it's just a process of cooking that people use and it is a really fatty meat as you can see all like this white stuff is ma made majority fat and so when you cook it the fat like melts away and it flavors the dish really well so that's why people use it for cooking um, next is this pecorino romano which is a sheep's milk cheese and it's really salty and hard um, sheep's milk is actually better for cooking and eating than cow's milk because it's has it's better digested um, by humans like the enzymes in it just like a little fun fact um, <laughs> another thing is it's made with um, the inside of sheep's like digestive system it's called the rennet and so it's actually not vegetarian because they have to use that ingredient to like bind the cheese together. Next we have this um, traditional egg pasta. I think I get the refrigerated one and I think it just cooks a lot better than regular dry pasta and has better flavor but you just have to use it quicker because it has to be refrigerated. And the last ingredient is um, eggs which are just regular like oops, um, organic eggs and yeah those are the Four ingredients you need. So usually the part that takes the longest is actually the pasta to boil. So we're gonna go and get that started first. Just bring a um, medium-sized pot. I'm cooking for two people, so medium-sized pot um, to high boil. I just do that because I'm impatient, maybe a little lower. Um, add salt, very important. And then when this starts to have a rolling boil, which is like really bubbly, you're gonna add the pasta in. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to grate the cheese and start to get the egg mixture ready. Alright, so we've got the cheese done. Um, this is probably like a half, a half to a full cup of grated cheese. You can always add more. I'm probably going to put more on top because I like it really cheesy and crazy. So we'll put that aside. Now, um, the main part of carbonara is that the sauce, there's no cream or milk or anything. It's just egg yolk. Um, so we're going to crack three egg yolks into this bowl and then whisk it together with half of the cheese mixture. Oh, shit. So... So I'm cracking the egg over this bowl to catch the white and then putting the yolk into this other bowl behind that you can't see. And you just go like this to get the yolk out. So, wash my hands really quick. So, we have the three yolks in here. We're going to whisk this around, get it all mixed up. And we're going to throw some cheese in here, like so. Let's get more. Mm. 
more cheese. It's gonna be, it's a really thick sauce and it um, thins out when you add it to the hot pasta. That's kind of the point. The cooking method is you cook the pasta and then you add this eggy cheese mixture on top instead of cooking it beforehand because if you were to crack the egg directly into the pot, it would scramble and then that just would be a disaster. So, Ta -da -da. all right, we're gonna set this aside. That looks good. We're gonna add some pepper to that, 100%. Um, and I'm gonna start the pancetta. Oh no, shit. I'm gonna start the this stuff. Okay, we're just gonna throw that in there. And stir it up so it doesn't stick. Then I'm gonna lower the heat a bit because we don't really need to rush. So for the guanciale, we want to use a big pan because we're gonna keep it right in here and then we're gonna add the pasta to this pan so you don't want to be crowded. Um, so I put this on like medium-high heat. I'm gonna add just a splash of oil. Mix that. Cook this for about three minutes and have it get nice and brown and crispy and all the fat is going to dissolve so it'll make a really good base for our noodles and our sauce. Mm. Definitely browning up. Just the oil kind of splashes so be careful with this part and just kind of tossing around. Uh, while we're waiting for these things I just grated a little more cheese to throw on top. Obviously, you can't cook Italian without your wine, so got that. And now we just wait. Okay, so the pasta is definitely done. So, but the important thing before you drain it is to grab a cup um, and reserve some of the water because you need it to throw into the sauce. And it's already hot, so it's just easy. So just a little bit like that. You're gonna remove the um, meat from the burner and just put it on a separate one that isn't on. Make sure your pasta is completely dry and um, there's no more water. And you add the pasta to the hot meat. Okay, so keep stirring so that everything is all mixed together. Then we're going to add the pasta water and scoop in the mixture, the egg and the cheese. Stir that in as well. Again, no heat on, just the plain pan. It's already really hot. You want to make sure you don't stop stirring because the egg yolk could scramble. So 
just want to keep stirring. Mm, it looks like right now, um, the sauce, the cheese, and the egg is really well mixed in through all the pasta. Mm. Just keep stirring until you feel like it's completely evened out and there's no big clumps because that would be really eggy and taste weird. Um, after you feel like it's well incorporated, you're going to top with a lot of cracked pepper. And I generally don't add salt because I like to, I add like a lot of salt to my food when I'm eating it, so I just don't really like to season things beforehand, just because it can kind of get a little crazy with the salt, that's just me. And that, there you have it. Okay, so the pasta's finished. Before you serve, you just sprinkle a little more cheese, and voila!